We're gonna need another scalpel. Another. We're gonna need another. Not that. We need another. Another. An another scalpel. Cause we gotta cut the stomach out here. There we go. Jolly good. Welcome to Surgeon Simulator. I had to re-record this because um, it crashed. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, let's uh, let's get it started. So what I like to do before performing the actual transplant is I like to move this out of the way. Out of the way. Yes. Good. And then I like to move everything out of the way that I don't need, like this, um, this bottle of orange whatever. And also these test files and shite. And then, I like to grab the circular saw as such, and out. I like to um, saw the ribs because we do need to open up the chest cavity. Oh, not good, not good. Now, I did want to always play, always play the, always play this on my channel, but I'm not talking about the 2013 one with the, all the ear rape in it. I'm talking about this, this version with all the. That looks great. This is looking pretty good. Oh! He no funny. All right. I'll have you know, I graduated from um, cardi cardiology in uh, the Philippines. So I have um, in uh, the early 1930s, so I'll have you know that I am very qualified to do this heart transplant. <laughs> Who needs heart-lung machines? Now you see, that is your lung. And that's your other lung right there. But we need this at the moment. Just, you know, stuff his face full of whatever the hell's in there. All right, now, gonna grab this, we're gonna toss that over there, we're gonna grab these and make them go fuck themselves. All right, cool. Now you see, this is the grip I use when I'm holding a scalpel as it lets people know of the feelings that I have towards them in general. It's something very essential to um, practicing cardiology properly. And we don't have to worry about that unless it gets stuck in the chest wall. Pull the heart out, and we come over here. Open this up. I said we open this. Never mind. We don't need to remove the stomach. But we do need to use scalpel. So I'm going to have to ask you to get into my hand, if you would please. No matter. Alright, we'll take this scalpel. And we'll use it to butcher the aortic veins. Uh, pull that 
scalpel out too. And then put it back in. And then open this up and lower our heart into it. All right, yeah, looks fine. I'm sure he'll live. All right, now we have to perform a double kidney transplant. That does not ever happen, ever. Um, so, first thing we need to do is remove this and grab this like this. You know, you see, that's how you do it. Man, these bones just... They just don't have any friction, do they? Oh, shite. Ah, oh, fuck. No, come on, get off. There we go. That's not an efficient grip. So I shall get a new one. I said I shall get it. I sh I should build a wall. We're gonna need another scalpel. Another. We're gonna need another. Not that. We need another. Another. An another scalpel. <laughs> We gotta cut the stomach out here. There we go. Jolly good. Oh my fucking god, come on. I need you to go. I need you to go, you haven't paid your rent. Alright, so now we need to grab another scalpel. Aim downwards towards the kidneys. We cut them out, and then we pull we pull them both out somehow. There we go. Open this up. Okay, that one is the right kidney. Right there. Good. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Good. Now our next patient was so incredibly dumb that this poor fellow needed a brain transplant. So I'm going to need to grab this. Let's throw that to the side. Then we grab our circular saw and we open the cranium. Now we want to make sure not to cut his brain because that wouldn't be very good. I mean, he'll live, but um, wouldn't be very good. Nobody likes a brain fart. All right. So now that I've got all that out of the way, I just gotta brush the pieces of his cranium off to the side. As you can see, they're very dense and can easily open that up. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab a little bit of the brain here. And then you're gonna sort of yank on it a little bit. And if it doesn't come out, then what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to pull out some more. Okay. There we go. Now we're gonna need a scalpel. So we're gonna take the hammer. Put that out of the way, because we don't need that. We're gonna grab a scalpel. We're gonna cut the brain stem here. 
Uh, first. I'm gonna need to angle it in there properly. Okay, uh, all right. There we go. We have cut the brainstem and we are ready to commence the transplant. But we must do it quickly. So if my hand could not get get stuck, that would be very nice. So we grab this brain and we're gonna just stick it in there. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. So that concludes um, Surgeon Simulator for now. My computer is about to explode. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys want more Surgeon Simulator, please say so. Uh, I'm just going to throw that over there. And we will hopefully do a, uh, an eye transplant and a teeth transplant next time. So see you guys in the next video.